Software Development Lifecycle Observability. This is really all about tracing your artifacts from development all the way into production through all of your pipelines. Whether these are Jenkins pipelines, Argo, Flux, GitHub, GitLab, Azure DevOps, whatever tools you have that are pushing your artifacts through the pipelines, this is what this topic is about. Because I'm pretty sure you have questions like, where are my artifacts? Where is my build? In which pipeline is it stuck? In which stage is it blocked? What is the latest result of my test? Where are things deployed? So this is exactly the reason why we from Dynatrace are investing in standardizing SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle Observability. Now this notebook here is something that I built to make it easy for you to find everything you need to know, starting from a link into the documentation about pipeline observability, then going into a dashboard that one of our colleagues, Arishan, has built also on the playground. So all of this is on the playground around software development lifecycle. Um, also, if you scroll a little further down, we give an introduction, what are SDLC events? So uh, everything from your first uh, creation of a repository, from the first git commit, the first build, the first deploy, the first test, the first scan, the first time you release a feature, the first problem that you may have detected in production, the first time you mitigate the problem. All of these are events that we want you to send in. Uh, if you scroll a little further down, we really try to make sure that all of the links that you need to get started are there. So what are STLC events? How to ingest them? How to analyze them? We do know that many of you have tools like Argo, GitHub, GitLab, Azure, direct links to the Git repositories that give you the dashboards and also all of the Dynatrace configuration and the instructions on how these tools can send those events to Dynatrace. Now, let me go a little bit up here because I want to show you a couple of things. The dashboard, really excited about that dashboard. Uh, this is the, uh, again, kudos to Arishan, release health along the software development lifecycle. What he built here is an overview of what versions of my software is currently deployed in a pre-production environment what versions are deployed in the production environment. If you scroll a little further down, we get all the insights that you need as an engineering lead. Uh, how often do you deploy? How long does it take? Which of these deployments are successful? Which ones are failing? Detailed overview of all of your tests, whether they are successful or failing. And if you scroll further down, I really like this overview because here you really see the full end-to-end -end life cycle of an artifact from the first checkout to build, static code analysis, smoke tests, production, ready-made tests, and also all the way uh, into prod and further on. Uh, you may have noticed on the top here, right, the comparison. So if you click on that link, you get to the release comparison insights. This is where Arishan is using the timestamp information on those SDLC events and use them uh, for time uh, filters, right? So you can actually really get all the data from the previous release to the current release. You can compare all of the key metrics. You can get access to your logs. You can get access to every single data point that is relevant for you that is responsible for software delivery. Now, let me go back to my notebook. Um, Everything is explained here, as I said, links to the documentation, uh, links to those GitHub repositories. I just pick up one here. Um, so this is for Argo. So the Git repository really includes all of the Dynatrace configuration, so some open pipeline rules, and then also the Dynatrace dashboards, and it contains in the readme a description on how you actually um, configure, in, in, uh, in this case, uh, Argo, how you use Argo notifications to send this information to Dynatrace, right? And whether it's Argo, or whether it is, in this case, it's GitHub, you can see it's the same schema. You have different dashboards. You have uh, all instructions uh, to set this up. Now, last time, uh, back to my notebook, because in the end, those STLC events are really events in Dynatrace. And I thought I also give you some examples on how what these events look like so that you know what else you can do. So I just explored the events just using the events uh, widget here and then say, you know, give me all the events from STLC. So here you get an overview. If you scroll further down, I also said, hey, for instance, you know, show me security events so you can get some ideas on what type of data we uh, suggest you have on those STLC events. Uh, because all of this is stored in Grail, you can obviously use your DQL queries. So give me all the events of SDLC type. That's great. And if I scroll 
further down, you can see what type of analytics and visualizations you can do. So here, for instance, I said, I want to see the different events uh, over time that are coming in from uh, different projects. So when was there actually some activity going on? Easy Trade Hipster Store. Okay, so this is really it, folks. Um, we call this SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle Observability, getting observability into the life cycle of your artifacts from dev all the way into prod, ingesting all of these events from your different DevOps tools. Hopefully this gives you a good way to get started. And if you have any questions or feedback, then leave a comment wherever you see this video and uh, reach out to us. And uh, all the best. Cheers.